How are you feeling? Oh man, did you see it landing on the way in? Yeah. Oh god. Favorite place in the world. I don't. I'm so excited. Back in Langkawi. Coming here instantly turns me into a giddy, silly, foolish man beyond caring. Langkawi is my first true travel love, a tiny island on the northwest side of Malaysia. This was the first place that I experienced true freedom, the feeling of hopping on the back of a dangerously tiny motorbike. This is, uh, this is Lisa's oh! first time driving the scooter with me on the back of it here. You're doing I so good! I just passed the garbage truck! <laughs> and exploring a foreign country. It has all the things that I need for happiness. Beautiful beaches? Check. Incredible street food? Check. Sunsets like this? What is that? What is that? Check. You may call me a simple man, but this is all that I need. This is my favorite place in the world. I think my heart has to be... Wow. Yes! We just landed at Josh's favorite place in the entire world. And I believe it. Truly one of the most beautiful landings I've ever experienced. He's so excited and that makes me so excited. <laughs> What a view. Had to stop off the side of the road because I just wanted to see this. The mountains and the ocean. My favorite view. Yay, sky cap. We're in line right now, it's moving pretty quickly, and we found out where all the tourists in Lanka we are. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. It almost feels like when you're getting on a ski lift, when you're gonna go snowboarding, you have to be ready, you have to be in position, and make sure not to fall off. That's all right. Views of the ocean, the mountains, these mountains. It's so pretty. Apparently, this is the longest free span single rope cable car in the entire world. I don't know what that means. Free span. What? You hear the wind yeah. blowing us I around? Love it. And we're I going love it. real slow. <laughs> this is terrifying. I think these types of things are like the truest form of humans trusting technology with their lives in a lot of ways. Because you're just on this little cable and it's bringing you up about 2,000 meters up to the top of a mountain over a period of a minute. This thing's a kilometer long from the beginning to the end. Single rope, too. <laughs> just, you know, nothing could ever go wrong, Wonderful. nothing will go wrong, but it's, it's just, oh, no just always feels a little bit freaky. Can you hear the wind? When you get closer to the top, the wind just starts blowing you left and right when you're in the little sky cap. But, uh, I mean, just look at, just look at what's down there. Nothing. All right, everybody's got to be ready to hop off. Everyone, get ready, get ready to go. It is stunning up here. Wow, it's beautiful. So now we're back in line because we're gonna take the sky cab even further. This was just the first stop, but then the next one you can actually take to get to the sky bridge. One of the longest, curviest in the entire planet. Go, 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 go. This place is incredible. It's definitely what people would call touristy because obviously there are a lot of tourists here, but rightfully so. The views are incredible. Look at that, the clouds over the mountains. It's just, just moving. That it's so pretty here. I can't, I can't. I can't explain it. It's so pretty here. I want to climb those mountains. Can you climb them? Sure. <laughs> For all you Hawaii lovers out here, 
you have to come to Langkawi. It's, it's amazing. Wow. This was the first place I had ever been to where you could rent a scooter and drive around an island and going through all these dense jungles out to these amazing isolated beaches. And uh, it's just something special about this place. So once you actually make it to the sky cab at the top, it's a steep 324 stairs, but who's counting? It's amazing, I still can't figure out how they got it in here. I read that they flew it in, oh, dropped it. With in. helicopters? Yes. Whoa. One, you know, they put in the, the upright first and then they brought the bridge in second. Amazing engineering. Don't, don't look over too much. The whole thing's just swinging back and forth and back and forth as people walk on it. It's, it's pretty unnerving. So, what do you think? You know, this is actually my first time here. I've come to Lankawi probably 10 times. And this was just never really in my backpacker budget that I had at the time. I was trying to stay here for like 30 to $40 a night, which is definitely still possible. This thing for like 25 bucks, 100% worth it. And with the mist and the clouds going through, oh, it's so pretty. So this island's not terribly big. It takes about two hours to drive all the way around the full circle of the island. So you can definitely like drive all the way around it in one day, but that's not nearly enough time to see everything. The wombo com combo wombo. The wombo combo. The wombo combo continues. Except there's three now. There's the bridge, the ocean, the mountains. Is there a quadruple, quadru trombo, trombo combo? combo. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think the Super Smash community is going to pick that one up like they did wombo combo. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed. They also have elevators up to the sky bridge. Accessibility. What traveling with Josh's family is like. Smaller than the cable and then the cable gets forced into it because of how heavy it is. Watch. And then it locks into right it. Right here it drops on. Boom. <laughs> I think this is the bigger drop up here. This is the one that freaks us out of the way up. I wonder how to feel the way down. Straight down. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Jesus. Wow, oh, that is. <sighs> so there I was, suspended in the air, on the sky cab in Lankawi, just about to tell you all how you could save so much money on your next trip by using credit cards or freaking flyer miles and how you could learn all of it through Skillshare. Okay, so now that we're done, nope. freak, stop. Okay, so now that we're done, nope. freak, stop. <laughs> but then this moment, right here. So I would have never been able to tell you how we saved over $9,000 on just this one trip alone on hotels and flights by using our freaking flyer miles and points. Enter Skillshare. <laughs> Okay. And I definitely wouldn't have been able to tell you that we have a course on Skillshare that teaches you this entire thing, as well as a whole bunch of other great courses, like hairstyling techniques, how to make a good vlog, and I would have been able to tell you that the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box down below, or our personal code, would have been able to get Skillshare free for one month, which is plenty of time to go through our course, as well as all the other amazing courses on Skillshare. That's what I wanted to tell you about, but hopefully next time. There's even a waterfall! Oh, wait, oh, that's dead. Oh. My There's a waterfall! I don't know where it is. Oh my goodness. There it is. As amazing as the top was, which it was amazing, I think genuinely the best part is just riding this cable car, and you can ride it as many times as you want. So I would say just do it over and over. The rest of this place is arguably quite built up. They've got all the cute stuff that you want to take pictures in front of, like the colorful homes and the bridges. <laughs> oh my gosh, Josh. But I still think the sky cab and the sky bridge is is why you come. And the otters! A lot of the attractions and food places that existed here before are definitely still closed, sadly, which is understandable. This place hasn't seen visitors in two years. It is exciting, though, that we are starting to see a lot of people come back. 
So now we're off to the Seven Wells Waterfall, which is just three minutes down the road. Here we go. First try. So Seven Wells Waterfall is, I think, the best place to swim if you actually want cold water somewhere on the island. All the other beaches, all year round, everywhere else on the island, the water is a nice bathtub warm, but here you finally get to experience something a little bit cold. It is a little bit of a climb though. What is this? Today is definitely one of our more active days on Long Pauli. This is the seven wells. We found it. Okay, so that one down there is pretty cool. It's nice and deep. It's got this weird cave thing. Best one is right here though, right underneath the waterfall. Long Kaui continues to surprise me in the best possible way. See them? Oh, there oh. they are. There they are. Oh, okay, so you guys want to keep going? Yeah, we thought I lost you for a second there. Look at those troopers. So we're now in Pantai Chenang, the main sort of like beachy hub of Langkawi. It's just a little bit south of the airport. It's actually pretty exciting to be walking down this street because when we first got here, it was completely empty. And now there are businesses open up and lots of people visiting. You can tell people are coming back. You can tell that Langkawi is opening up again. Another amazing and very unique thing about Langkawi is that the entirety of the island is a duty-free island. So what that means in real world terms is super cheap snacks and alcohol. Oh yeah, and a bunch of other stuff too, like luggage, clothes, watches, just anything that you'd normally find in a duty free, but at actually like really good prices. Did you know that they still make Beanie Babies? Also they have tiger foam for my mosquito bites. Okay, and it's about this time, 3 or 4 p.m. every single day, invariably you just get so tired from the heat and the humidity. You just gotta go sit some air conditioning for a little while. So that is exactly what we're gonna go do. We're spending like $90 a night on this resort here, which for us is an incredibly huge amount. Uh, we wouldn't normally be spending this much. We just kind of wanted to celebrate this part of the trip. So we're just going to spend tonight with some snacks, a beer on the beach of our resort watching the sunset. There are many small islands around the world, many places with beautiful beaches, good food, cheap beers, and breathtaking sunsets. I know that this one might not look so unique, not appear as special as I'm making it out to be. It might just look like another beautiful place. But this one, Langkawi, caught me at a time in my life when I had forgotten about some of the magic in life. The thing about the sunsets here is they just keep on getting better and better. What is that? What is that? So much so that there was a long time when I didn't want to tell anyone about this place and keep it my secret. For many obvious reasons, it isn't and has never been. But friends share their favorite things. That's what it's all about. That's what we do here every day. Thank you for letting me share my favorite place in the world with you. Hope you liked it as much as I do. That's it for this one. We'll see you tomorrow. You look so cool. And did you know, this is the longest free span single rope cable pump. Come to this Back. island. Back. <laughs> Back. <laughs> Got a lot to say. Do you think the title of our video should be Long Kawi, the Wombo Combo? <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs>
What is that? Oh my gosh. God, actually. Wait a minute. The internet is not ready for that. Nope, nope, nope. You can also pay. Oh, you can. Oh. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.